Neurology quiz number 65. What is Miyoshi myopathy? Miyoshi myopathy is an autosomal recessive distal muscular dystrophy characterized by selective weakness of the gastrocnemius and other posterior compartment muscles in the legs. It manifests early on with toe walking difficulty. Etiology Miyoshi myopathy is caused by mutations in the DYSF gene on chromosome 2 which encodes for dysferlin. Dysferlin is involved in muscle membrane repair, myogenesis, angiogenesis and microtubule dynamics. It can also result from mutations in the ANO5 gene on chromosome 11 which encodes for anoctamin 5, a calcium activated channel important for membrane fusion and repair. Clinical features. Miyoshi myopathy was first reported from Japan. It has subsequently been reported in Caucasian and North African families and from other parts of the world. The typical age of onset is between 15 to 30 years with a median of 19 years. The disease is characterized by muscle weakness and atrophy of the calf muscles, soleus and gastrocnemius, which is usually symmetric. Patients report difficulty in toe walking or climbing stairs. Exercise-induced myalgia and aching discomfort in the calf muscles can also be an early symptom. On examination, ankle reflexes are lost. As the disease progresses, patients will develop proximal leg and arm weakness to varying degrees. Ambulation is usually preserved. Most patients are not greatly impaired and do not require assistive devices. This figure shows prominent atrophy of the posterior compartment muscles in the leg in a case of Miyoshi myopathy. This is another figure showing striking atrophy of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles in a case of Miyoshi myopathy. Marked elevation of serum CK is characteristic. It is usually more than 20 times the upper limit of normal and can be up to 100 times the upper limit. CK elevation can predate the onset of weakness. Muscle biopsy may reveal dystrophic features and show abnormal, that is, reduced or absent dysferlin immunostaining. MRI of the calf muscles shows fatty replacement, while EMG reveals myopathic motor units and recruitment patterns. The diagnosis is confirmed by gene testing. Most patients remain stable or have only slowly progressive weakness, but some may have a more aggressive pattern involving both proximal and distal muscles. Another pathogenic variant in the DYSF gene causes LM LGMD2B or limb girdle muscular dystrophy type 2B. This is the second most common subtype of limb girdle muscular dystrophy in the United States and the most common in Asia. Weakness usually begins between 15 to 30 years of age. Onset is in the legs and hip abductors, knee extensors and ankle plantar flexors are most affected. Later in the disease, the arms may be involved. Progression is slow and cardiac involvement does not occur. Miyoshi and LGMD2B phenotypes may be present in the same family. CK levels are markedly elevated with a mean of 5000 but can be as high as 30,000 or more. Muscle MRI shows early involvement of the medial gastrocnemius, hamstrings and paraspinal muscles. Muscle biopsy in the early stages can show prominent inflammatory infiltrates suggesting polymyositis but in the later stages shows dystrophic changes. Dysferlin immunostaining reveals the protein to be reduced or absent. Genetic testing is the definitive test. Muscle diseases caused by mutations in the DYSF gene are collectively labeled as the dysferlinopathies. This figure shows a scheme representing the proteins involved in the dysferlin complex at the sarcolemma of the skeletal muscle. In the dysferlin complex, dysferlin, calpane, and caveolin 3 have been linked to LGMD2B, LGMD2A, and LGMD1C respectively. This figure shows immunofluorescent staining for dysferlin in normal muscle, Miyoshi myopathy and LGMD2B and shows lack of dysferlin in Miyoshi myopathy and LGMD2B. Mutations in ANO5 also call, cause LGMD2L or limb girdle muscular dystrophy type 2L. This has a high prevalence in Northern Europe. Onset is usually in the third and fourth decades. Patients present with slowly progressive proximal muscle weakness with prominent involvement of the biceps and quadriceps muscles. Respiratory insufficiency is not reported, but some patients develop cardiomyopathy. Note, 
The limb girdle muscular dystrophies, or LGMD, are a heterogeneous group of genetically determined muscular diseases. They have traditionally been classified as autosomal dominant, or LGMD1, and autosomal recessive, or LGMD2. Successive letters of the alphabet are used to name the LGMDs according to the chronology of identification. However, comma, this classification has been revised, and the revised classification will be discussed in a future quiz.